Hey guys, Kara Sif here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Bujin Sword Buckle from Kamen Rider Geats. This premium bonded exclusive is a special raised buckle used by Kamen Rider Tycoon to obtain his final form. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the Bujin Sword Buckle on its own. So, similar to the Boost Mark 9 raised buckle, this is technically two buckles in one, but it's sandwiched together horizontally instead of vertically. Color scheme wise, it's kind of like an inversion of the Ninja Race Buckle, being mostly this dark gray with some green as well, plus a center ring that's all red. You can see the big centerpiece is this sheathed sword that goes across the two buckles, and you also have these accent pieces on the sides. Coming down to the back, you can see that both of them have their own individual pin sets. While uh, this one here, on the right, has the electronics. It does include batteries with the pull tabbing here. The two lock in together quite well, and they split up like this. The sounds come from here. You get sound for both unsheathing, and then putting back in the sword. And essentially it uses this rail here to slide into place and then connect in the middle. And you can see that there are some nice detailed lines painted into the clear parts that will go over the desired driver. Speaking of which, next up we'll bring in the desired driver and Tycoon Core ID to use with the Bujin Sword Buckle. So, we'll split up the buckle get one on each side of the desired driver. Make sure it line up properly. Then draw the sword to transform. And there we have the transformation into Kamen Rider Tycoon Bujin Sword. So, with the buckle attached, the desired driver takes on a drastically different look, to the point of practically looking like a different belt, similarly to how the Boost Mark 9 race buckle gave the desired driver a very different look, by basically covering up the whole face of it. We now see that the sword is drawn, we have basically an edited version of the Tycoon Core ID mark here on the blade that gets illuminated by the light coming from the driver and does line up pretty well with the Core ID underneath. You can see it's a bit more of a darker, more serious look to it. And after that, there are two special attack sounds that can be done with this. So, first by sheathing and then unsheathing the sword. That gives us the Bujin Sword Strike. The second one involves sheathing it, drawing it, and then doing so again. And that does the Bujin Sword victory. And the last thing we do is that the side of the Bujin Sword buckle that doesn't have electronics can also be used in combination with other raised buckles. We'll get that one sound first.
For your first example, we'll use boost. So this makes Bujin Sword with the boost buckle. For the second example, we'll use Monster. And finally, we'll use the Ninja Race Buckle. And there we go. Overall, I think this is a very cool and stylish race buckle, but I firmly believe that this should have been a retail release. It does do something unique when it comes to how it functions, especially as a 2-in-1 race buckle, but it doesn't have any kind of added bells and whistles. No special voice lines, no special sounds, nothing outside of the functionality that it had within the series. and. You know, I feel like this is the kind of thing that really should have its been standard retail release, but they decided to push it to premium Bandai, perhaps because they wanted to end the retail line with the Geats 9 toys. But still, I think it would have been a lot easier if this was a retail release. And there is also the unfortunate thing when it comes to Haiku, and where this is you know, tied into him, where he had his core ID released you know, via the special campaign. And while you could use a different core ID and have the same look to it, it does feel more complete when you have the proper core ID. So, you know, this is the kind of thing where I definitely recommend it if you have the proper core ID and if you have the desired driver, obviously. But this is the kind of thing where I would definitely try to look for a good price for this so you're not paying too much for something that, again, really should have been a retail release. Next up, we'll be looking at the other web exclusive buckle released recently, which is the Fantasy Raise Buckle. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KR50, riding off.